What's up ladies and gentlemen, Marjack79 here and today I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, talk about the excitement uh, surrounding the uh, Marvel film Black Panther. It comes out next month on February the 16th, 2018. Uh, it is um, definitely uh, Maybe my uh, most anticipated movie of the year. I actually changed that. Yes, it's definitely my most anticipated movie of the uh, year. Um, so the purpose of this video, I, I just wanted to uh, take a second to uh, talk about why Black Panther um, uh, means so much to the uh, black community or the African American community, whatever you want to call it. So why is it so important? So let me go ahead and start off by saying it's the first uh, major superhero movie that's been promoted worldwide that is starring an almost entirely black cast um, that's based off of African culture. I mean, what on what on God's earth do we have to c compare this uh, this to? This is this is this is history, people. This is absolutely history. When we uh, go go back and look at all the uh, black superhero movies that that starred a black person that was actually a in the uh, a title role, you know, not like Falcon for Captain America or War Machine for Iron Man or uh, that's another example or like the the black ranger for power rangers or for the uh, new generation you know the blue power, power ranger this is actually this is a guy who who is of uh, african american descent who is in the uh, title role so so let's go through some some movies that we have to compare this to this to of why this particular movie means so much in 2018. So let's start off with Hancock. Hancock, Hancock, Hancock. Oh man, I don't, even, I don't even know where to start with this one. This movie came out in 2008, um, starring Will Smith, as it, as you can see. Um, he was such an al he was an alcoholic in this movie for I, I would say at least about. 40 to 50 percent of the movie before he actually turned it around and started becoming effective and being an actual hero um he was not a good role model people <laughs> he's not a good role uh, role model i'm even surprised that i mean i feel like this was like at the uh, peak of will smith's career so why he would take on a, a superhero film that started out as an alcoholic is beyond me um yeah, I mean it did pretty good at the box office. It wasn't it wasn't a terrible film. I felt I felt like the storyline was uh, was weird. Um, I never really got be uh, behind you know how he and uh, Charlie Theron's character were like supposed to be married, and when when they got when they were too close to each, to each other, they lost their powers and lost their uh, immortality and whatnot. Uh, so I just never really got behind that storyline. I thought, honestly, I thought it was kind of dumb. Um, yeah. So let's. So now let's move on to Meteor Man uh, that came out in 1993. Uh, this guy, he was, he was like, he was a high school teacher. Um, uh, his neighborhood was run by the uh, typical bad drug dealing gang. So, you know, he was trying to defend a girl one night. He was trying to defend them from a, a gang, and he ended up having to uh, run away, and he hid in, a, hid in a garbage can and got hit by a green uh, meteor and got powers just like Superman, or per se. Um, again, I mean, it was your typical or save his neighborhood from like drugs and like of course the went into like the cribs and bloods and we were trying to relate to only the african-american audience of the early 90s um it did it did all right at the box office and it became a cult classic but it never really it didn't do nowhere near a, a worldwide phenomenon that uh, black panther is getting ready to uh, be I mean it only uh i think it only targeted the african-american demo graph from the uh, early 90s so i mean this, it wasn't necessarily a bad film even though i got horrible reviews from rotten tomatoes but you know this is not something like you're not going to go into a store and see meteor man action figures you just you're just not going to see that um the next let's move on to 
blank man. It starred Damon Wayans. Now, admittedly, this movie is uh, hilarious. It stars a guy that he was a uh, the kind of the nerd of the uh, neighborhood, and once again, um, had a lot of. Uh, political affiliations and drug dealings in the uh, neighborhood of who the main bad bad guy was and this guy his uh, grandmother ends up getting getting killed which uh inspires him to uh dye this goofy costume and man that's uh what is that uh that towel around his head he kind of he kind of looks like a ninja turtle Raphael, a little bit <laughs> but uh i mean Again, it wasn't necessarily a bad film, but to put this in uh, into the superhero genre with the likes of like uh, Iron Man or Captain America or Batman or Superman is just it's ridiculous as you can as you can see. So I mean, this was definitely not supposed to uh, do what um, the uh, iconic superhero movies did. Um, it was mo it was mostly a comedy, and you know, and I believe you know it definitely achieved what it was supposed to do. I just don't think once again you're you're gonna go into Target or Walmart and find a uh, blank man action figure. I don't, I don't think any uh, any little kid is dreaming about being blank man. At least at least I wasn't. I mean, this movie came out in 1994. I was about five, and I can tell you I was not dreaming about being blank man. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, all right. So now let's move on to Still Starring Shaq. Oh God. Oh God. This movie was so bad. This came out in 1997. Now uh, this was this actually was a uh, DC Comics film based off a DC Comics character. Still, he's he he actually does exist and the. Uh, comic books but this movie was just so bad I mean it, it was filled with, with cheese a dialogue your, your, your typical I mean evil a corporation is trying to spread bombs across the world or whatever I mean um, the plot really didn't make any sense Shaq's dialogue was terrible the bad guys dialogue was terrible just you cheesy one-liners still <laughs> horrible Horrible, man. <laughs> um, not to mention, it took 16 million dollars to uh, make this film, and then only ended up doing one million dollars at the uh, box office. So a co complete commercial fail. So I mean, the next time you see you see Shaq on uh, <laughs> the NBA on TNT, think of this face hair. Good God, man, this movie was horrible. <laughs> and then the 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 only other. Um, uh, series starring an African American uh, lead in a superhero film was Blade. So now you know Blade was actually a really good movie. I mean, it spawned a franchise. Uh, we got three movies out of it, but you know it really didn't represent the you know African or Black or the African American culture at all. I mean, obviously you know Blade is a Marvel character and he's a vampire you know and it just it really didn't i don't remember i think i know he had a uh, a black girlfriend in there and i don't know maybe i think it was like one, maybe one black supporting character but other than that everybody else was a different national nationality so i mean uh, i mean again that's not that's not a bad thing but when we're comparing it to black panther this is not even close <laughs> Again, not to say that these were bad movies, even though three was pretty terrible. <laughs> it just didn't, you know, it's just when it comes to uh, comparing it, it wasn't a movie that represented the black community, I would say. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's good politically correct wording. <laughs> I'm sure everybody can, can agree with that. That brings us back to Black Panther. So, the reason why this is so anticipated by not only the uh, black community guys, but you know, worldwide, is because the the uh, the story. I mean, we we were already introduced to a uh, to a Black Panther in the film Captain America: Civil War. You know, he's fighting Captain America. 
and the Winter Soldier. They gave him great scenes. He had great dialogue. His pre his presence was felt in every scene of the movie that that he was in. You know, this is definitely a guy that I wish I had I had grown up, and so you know that I could I could imitate. And because you know, when I was little, I mean, like I said, the only characters that I could really pretend to be, you know, I remember I had a group of friends. We would go around the neighborhood and pretend to be the uh, Power Rangers. So who do I, so who do I have to be? I mean, I was designated the Black Ranger every time. <laughs> so I mean. But with this here, uh, you know, um, he's uh, he, he's actually the uh, king of the king of his own country. He's, he's the leader of his army. And yeah, man, he just represents uh, power, uh, passion and res a responsibility to his uh, people. I mean, it's just something that we've never seen before in a uh, title role for an African-American superhero based off an actual uh, Marvel comic character. You know, and also we need to talk about the African culture and costumes and whatnot that's going to be utilized in this movie as well. I mean, uh, to the to every stitch and the, even the uh, hairstyles and the uh, jewelry too. I mean, it just screams out African culture. I mean, every actor that was uh, that was chosen. Um, every spoken dialogue that we've heard so far in the trailers, I mean, it sounds great, man. So I'm so excited for this movie. And uh, not to mention, it's being directed by the same guy that, that did the did Creed. And uh, uh, what, was that? what was that other movie with um, with uh, Michael B. Jordan, the where he was the guy that got shot by, by the cop? I can't, I can't think of. But uh, but yeah, that was, uh, that was a really good movie, too. This is the uh, one of the most anticipated Marvel movies ever created, and the proof right there is it's already sold out in uh, I would say about 95% of the uh, major theaters around the the uh, country. Um, the because I had uh, I bought my tickets the the day that it was uh, released, and I still ended up having to uh, pick seats because you know most most theaters now, nowadays that they, they let you reserve your seats, and we were st we still ended up being in a back corner of the theater with uh, the the majority of the front in the in the middle being being filled. So and, and I got mine prior prior about. Four in the afternoon with them coming out at like first thing that uh, that morning. So I mean, so that tells you right there. The, this movie is serious, a serious business, man. It's not playing around. I'm definitely expecting it to break records. It also has the, of course, the entire backing of the Marvel cin uh, Cinematic Universe and the uh, Marvel fans in, in general. Uh, but of course, I mean, if you hop on social social media, you're gonna have those few tag heads that, that are gonna be like, nah, I'm not really interested in this film, even though I've seen every single Marvel movie that's ever come out in history really dude <laughs> really i mean just come out and say it why don't you it's crazy man come on i mean at least i mean you know but at least just give it a chance i mean come on <laughs> you know, black panther has the same skill set if not more skill than the captain america himself so there's no reason why you shouldn't at least give this movie a chance especially if you've seen every single marvel movie to date i mean it's been what 15 of them? Come on now. <laughs> that's, uh, that's ridiculous. And the other thing about this too is I mean that you can already go into a Target, Walmart, Myers, and Toys R Us and see all types of merchandise for it, man. Like I said, when I was little and I was looking for an action figure that, you know, looked like myself, uh, if in, in case somebody didn't know, duh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I had Zack the Black Ranger, I had Storm from X Men. Uh, I think it was a, it was a dude from Captain from Captain Planet, and uh, that was about it, man. <laughs> I would say the all the rest of my action figures and uh, toys and whatnot that I had when I was little were uh, of a different ethnicity. So you know, I'm just 
I'm so I'm so happy and I'm so and I'm so proud that I can walk into those stores now and just see this in the front, you know, this display and would and, and display proudly at that. I mean, I just say I think it's a it's a new sign of a of a history. I think I mean everybody of course made made a big deal when Tiana was named the first uh, Disney uh, African American princess, and I think this is right up that alley. So crazy that it took this long for us to finally get a motion picture um, of a superhero status with with a almost entirely black black cast. But you know, it's better it's better late than never. Now, I also I also will say too, do not fire stick this movie. Don't do that, man. That's not right. Um, do uh, do yourself a favor and go on out and support this movie. I'll buy some tickets. I mean, it's like ten dollars. Uh, well, no, I take it back. It's probably thirteen, fourteen dollars. And if you have a girlfriend or a friend that you you're trying to take, boom, thirty dollars. It's nothing. Come on, man. Dude, don't don't do the film a disservice by watching it illegally or trying to uh, download it <laughs> or trying to watch it on fire stick for free because that's not that's not helping out anybody and you're not going to get to see the actual version that, that you were meant to see in the uh, theater anyways so don't do that man that's not right especially after they put a 100 million dollar budget into this film and this this film i think it has the potential to bring us all together man i mean i feel like the world is definitely divided <laughs> more so than it has been in a long time right now and i think with the release of this movie it's an opportunity to bring us back together i mean it's a it's going to be a good block blockbuster um hollywood uh, a feature film starring an all-star cast it's gonna have great great action and i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be good man so we just gotta get out there support the movie and give it a chance i promise you will not be let down um i i, I don't i don't think i've ever been more excited to see a movie honestly and i think it's gonna uh, it's, it's gonna blow our socks off so with that um so if you uh, like the video do me a favor and just hit that like button for me I would really appreciate it um, and if you if you uh, disagree with me if you think it's gonna suck you know comment below let's talk let's talk about it um, I don't mind you know I, I, I honestly welcome everybody's uh, opinion it's cool and uh, if you want to see more videos just like this uh, go ahead and look towards the right and hit that subscribe button uh, button for me you know uh, YouTube if, if you didn't know has announced the uh, small channel apocalypse so yeah just uh, if you if you would like to support me just uh, hit that subscribe button for me I would really uh, I would really appreciate it you can follow me at youtube.com slash marjack779 and facebook.com slash marjack779 I uh, hope to see you guys on uh, the next one and until then I'll catch you later. Bye.